Okay, I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible because it gets a little bit too complex with the average economic class student, and uh, I'm going to try to keep it simplified as best I can. You have three key terms here. Marginal cost, designated MC, average cost, AC, and average variable cost, AVC. Now, let's start first with average variable cost. The average variable cost is the cost as it fluctuates during production of, of output. As it fluctuates between the labor prices, uh, the utility prices, the bills that are never really exactly the same, it is the average cost over a period of time uh, that includes all of those moving expenses or moving costs. Okay, you come up with an average of those costs, and that is represented as your average variable cost. The average electric bill, the average utility bill, etc. The average cost is just the average overall cost. It includes everything. The rent, the uh, payroll, uh, it goes on and on. That whole list of fixed costs uh, comes is included in the average cost. Now, at some point, there is an intersection between both these costs because they change with output for the most part with the term called marginal cost. Okay? Marginal cost is essentially the cost well, let me give it to you specifically. Marginal cost. According to Corporate Finance Institute, marginal cost represents the incremental cost earned when producing a physical unit of a product given. Simply stated, every time you produce three, four, five, six more units of your product in your output, your costs are going to increase. Because obviously, you will, as you try to produce more, you will incur more costs, whether it be labor or materials or whatever. The cost is going to increase the more you try to produce. The key, of course, which isn't shown on the graph, is to get to a point where the marginal costs won't increase a lot. But what you have here is a comparison of these three costs. Now, here's the key. The key is... Your zero profit occurs when your average costs, your total costs, intersect with your marginal costs. Because you don't want to start producing more products. Um, you don't want to start producing less products, I should say, and lose money. So the zero profit point is when the costs and all the marginal costs, which change with the number of units output intersect. They're dead even. All right. Above that is called the profit zone. Everything you make above that is considered your profit. So graphically, if you want to look and examine your profit, this is how you would do it. However, the distance between the zero profit point, which is the AC here again, intersecting the marginal cost. This area in here is your area of loss, but you can still continue operating in the short run zone. We talked about it in the three previous examples. This is considered your short run zone. The difference between average variable costs and average costs as they intersect the marginal cost line. Now, why am I showing you this? Because you may see the graph. And it's not about figuring stuff out so much. It's just trying to understand what it's about. Variable costs, total costs, costs as they increase with production. Okay. Now, of course, all of these 
show some increase in production. That's to be taken for granted. The shutdown point for a business, and that's what we've been talking about, is when your marginal costs intersect the average variable cost. That means that there's just no way, there's just no way that you can move on because you still have all your fixed costs to pay for. You have to pay for your rent. You have to pay for uh, all of those fixed costs, uh, taxes, etc., that involve the cost of doing business. This is the shutdown zone. All right? It's as simple as I can make it. Uh, and it's not, it's not as complex as it looks. 